All right, guys, we are jumping back into Plague Inc., but this time we're playing the biggest update they've ever made. It's called The Cure. Yes, you're playing as the good guys in Plague Inc. for once. And they have linked up, I guess, with medical experts and, and, and research experts as to how to make this as realistic as possible in terms of like a simulation. Uh, so I'm actually really, really excited to jump into this. And this is something that could become another series, guys. So if you want to see more of this, Please do let me know after you get done watching the video. I think you're going to enjoy it, though, because based off of everything I've seen so far with the tutorial, it looks like it's going to be a blast. So first things first, we got to start all over again. We got to go through the tree. We got to start with the bacteria later on. We could do all these other ones. But yes, we have to try to cure a bacteria that's going to be shredding through the world. And it's not some uh, lightweight bacteria. This is going to be a dangerous bacteria. We can assemble a task force, but unfortunately, all of these are locked out. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to leave it on normal difficulty. You can see that there's all different... Uh, difficulty levels, but yeah, we're gonna go into normal. We're gonna leave this default. Uh, we're not gonna make any sort of comparisons to things that have been going on in the world, uh, at least by name. Uh, but very much like the base game, we're gonna establish our HQ. I'm gonna put our HQ in in uh, in North America. Uh, like I said, that's the, that's where I live. I've told the, told you guys this before in other Plague Inc. videos. And immediately, immediately, I see that uh, in the Middle East here, um, we have got some spread. So. Oh my god, it's in Africa and Europe. Uh, okay, so. Very, very different system now. You can actually see the parameters of uh, of the bacteria. You got hypersensitivity, necrosis, internal hemorrhage. This is very dangerous, actually. Now that I'm looking at this, very, very dangerous. Uh, especially with uh, these two here, the hemorrhaging and the necrosis. Uh, very, very dangerous. Now, I don't have any other options right now. No quarantine options, no response. Because the first thing we need to do is make an investigative team. Uh, we're going to go and set them up. Uh, and, uh, we could also deploy field operatives. I'm gonna do that too. Uh, now the- we gotta get our field operatives out here. So they're gonna show up, boom. Now I've got these active abilities. So, we are going to send out our first operative. Let's see, which looks like it has more. I'm guessing down here. Saudi Arabia. So we've got a plane going out, another plane as well. Uh, but these are our operatives. They're gonna land here. Our team's gonna get out and say, okay, what's going on? How do we address this? You're gonna see a symbol. There we go. We've detected it. Uh, it's been reported in Saudi Arabia, and a, a, an actual uh, pandemic may be on the horizon. That's what it's saying. Again, we are the good guys. We're saving the world here. At least that's a plan. So the first thing that I want to do here uh, is part of my response. Now, I could do all sorts of stuff. We could go for authority. By the way, authority. If you lose all your authority, you lose a game. You get fired. Uh, but we could set up for emergency care, infection control. We could start a vaccine. Uh, furlough schemes, we could help people with their, uh, financial needs. Um, there's also government partnerships, uh, that will help detect, uh, any sort of outbreaks. But the first things that I think we can do to help is, uh, get people to, to respond. Because right now it's very small. So, we're gonna tell them, hey, uh, you know, disinfect stuff. Wash your hands. And we're gonna run some stuff on TV. Listen. This thing's out here, all right? We need to inform the public that this is going on. All right, so we've got our uh, team down here. Now, let's look at the numbers. Oh, we don't have any details on these other countries. So I'm going to send uh, my team up now to uh, to Turkey. Turkey's now giving me their stats. Uh, we got to go to Iraq as well. We need some intel from Iraq. I'm seeing some more spread. I'm not liking it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, we also got to tell these countries, hey, stuff's going down. You need to be on alert. Europe, be on alert. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do Africa, I guess. We're gonna let them know. Uh, actually, let's tell everybody. I'm gonna tell the whole world that, listen, I'm worried right now. I want you guys to be ready. Now, on the screen now, we've got the ability to close air, uh, seaports, land borders, and then there's a forced lockdown option. We're not going to do any of that right now. Because right now, my resources are limited. Uh, speaking of being limited... Uh, do I want to send my team out anywhere else? Yeah, we got to get to Iran. So, uh, you know, this disease targets anybody. Uh, and everybody. Regardless of, of anything else. And we're about to get spread in Europe. Africa. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a point- oh my- we have a lot of points, actually. This is a point where I need to- to, uh, have cooperation from governments. 
Uh, and... Let's see, what else we want to do? Uh, we're gonna have our, our team do infection control. Additionally, uh, let's ask people to self-isolate if they get sick. And we're gonna set up some clinical treatments. So a lot of the basics, as we know now with this kind of spread, things could turn pretty quick. Alright, there's America. So America got its first case. But now it looks like, uh, okay, we could research a vaccine. Looks like we, I, I saw a line go out here. I'm gonna send my team up here. Because they're pretty isolated up in Iceland. I'm gonna send my team out to uh, get some details. We also got to get a team out in uh, South America, in the Brazil area. All right, so we're getting more points. Now again, uh, social distancing. We need them to uh, to reduce the infection, do everything they can. Here's some more uh, PPE package for healthcare that that's gonna give them their masks, their shield, face shields, goggles, hand sanitizer. Reduce those infection rates. Next up, I think I'm gonna focus on my. Uh, my healthcare, my widespread outbreaks. Uh, I am trying to stop the spread. Trying to avoid quarantine because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm my authority. If you again, if your authority drops to zero, you're you're done. So I'm doing everything I can to work with the people to uh, to reduce infections. All right, we're gonna uh, let's see. Long sleeve uh, uh, gowns. We're, okay, yeah, we're gonna keep doing what we can to get our, our workers to, uh, to to do everything to reduce spread and, while they're taking care of people. Right now, uh, the, the fatality rate is actually, you know, it's bad, but it's not as bad as it could get. And uh, we've seen a 60% increase in people that have lost the battle. Uh, infections are up but quite a bit, but we got to keep this number l as low as possible. We need people to do their part. All right, so next up, I'm going to send my team out to, let's see, Get into Africa. Oh, go oh boy, Madagascar. That's like the dream. When you play Plague Inc. any other time, that is literally the dream. To get into Madagascar. Alright, so, uh, emergency prep. Uh, or, okay, that's fatality. Mask, okay. This will significantly reduce infection. We're gonna, we're gonna get the mask wearing. Once I have enough points. I need one more point, one more point. Come on, guys, come on. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay. Now again, they consulted with experts on this game, so there we go. We're gonna make masks uh, mandatory when uh, not... Uh, when social distancing is impossible. And then from there, we're kinda- we've gone through the whole tree of what the people can do. Next up, I'm, I'm gonna work with the healthcare folks and, uh, and get the infrastructure set up there. And I think it- now is a good time, uh, to set up a, uh... It set up the vaccine too. But first things first, uh, emergency prep. Get our hospitals ready. All right, things are starting. To, things are starting to get a little bit dangerous. We're still getting that spread. Okay. Our authority is doing okay. So again, authority can be greatly broken down by so many things, including things like uh, quarantines. Uh, okay. Uh, what else can we do here? Border monitoring, um... Let's do it. Alright, airport screening. Oh, we could actually... We could have done screening at the start. Uh, contact tracing as well. Get, get that going. We need our, our teams to be able to identify things quickly. Alright, and then where else can we send you? Get you over here. Oh boy. We're still hovering about 3%, so again, could be way worse. Oh, there we go. More points. We got to get a team out to, uh, to Australia. Okay, so we got 15 points. Um... Okay, surge protocols. Keep reducing that infection. If we can keep that down, we're gonna save a lot of lives. We're- okay, we're under 3%. That's fantastic. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to start the vaccine next. There you go, we can afford the vaccine. Now the vaccine is going to take a very long time. So on the operation page, we can start the research. But we got to get some other things here to really ramp it up. Okay. I'm going to send my team out to, let's see, uh... 
Is it? No, we haven't sent anyone here yet. Oh, they're still flying to Australia. Oh, they just got set up. Oh, yep. Send the team out here. Gonna keep the team moving around the world, alright? We gotta know everything we possibly can about what's happening here. Okay, so right now 43,000 people have lost their battle. Uh, which is obviously very, very unfortunate. Um... Shoot. Okay, so what else can we do for folks? Uh, treatment efficiencies or new infrastructure. The new infrastructure will reduce authority loss uh, caused by high numbers of infected. So I'm gonna do that. Right now, our fatality rate's not terrible, but uh, we're, we're getting a lot of- we're still getting a decent amount of infections. Could be way worse. Okay, so charities are holding an awareness day. Good, good, good. Uh, and, let's see, where else can we fly people? Out here, North Africa. Uh, to Libya. Too many countries infected, use quarantine measures to slow spread. I'm considering it. Uh, but, quarantine measures make people really, really upset. I think our other measure measures are doing a really good job. And to be honest, as it spreads, uh, it actually helps get countries behind. Um, researching things like cures. Alright, triage protocols. Uh, or local lockdowns, staff expansion. Let's do critical care. Let's get all the... The general health stuff. Uh, also, what else can we do here? I'm gonna actually do accelerated uh, research as well. And then there's accelerated research, or there's a global research treaty that will help us with the vaccine. So, as long as I can keep my authority relatively up, we should be able to come through ahead here. Alright, let's send our team out again to, uh, let's see, this country right here is Sudan. Okay, authority still holding. Um... Hmm... Let's go ahead and, uh, let's help people... Oh wait, this is for quarantine. We've not really done much in the way of quarantine yet. Uh, so we got triage, we got treatment efficiencies. Let's do treatment efficiencies. We want to keep people safe. We want them to know that we're working on keeping this percentage as low as possible. Olympics will begin soon despite the PAX-19. Oh god, well, it's already in Brazil, so we don't have to worry about it coming there, but... Uh, yeah, we don't- we don't want, uh, it to get worse. I'm noticing Korea... ...is having a bit of an issue. Alright, so our authority is hurting a little bit. Um... Oh, jeez, what do I want to do next? Should I- should I do the global treaty? It'll cost me 21 to do that. Uh, otherwise we could set up the infrastructure. Let's set up the infrastructure so we're ready to go, and emergency care. So our field operatives are gonna be able to help wherever they are. So for example, uh, it looks like there's a decent number of cases. Let's see, oh, where is it the worst? Uh, Pakistan's got it pretty bad. Uh, oh, India's actually in the green. See, I'm, I'm trying to do some intel here as to where it's the worst. Because now my team can assist. Look at that, people all the way up in Greenland. Okay, I feel like we're doing a decent job here though, guys. Um, again, I know my authority's falling a little bit. But, uh... But yeah, I, I think, I think we're, we're doing a decent job. We could always buy more authority. Uh, we've got some options there. Let's go ahead and do advanced antibiotics. That's going to increase the research speed as well. Lots and lots of infections out there. Uh, but, again, look at this fatality rate. 1.6%. That's- we've actually made a huge dent. Huge, huge, huge dent. Uh, this is actually going pretty dang well. But, uh, airplanes around the world are carrying the bacteria. Uh... Let's- let's try airport screening. Let's see what that does with these planes. Let's see if they're- Oh! The planes are going white! I think- I think we might have had a big impact. So now that the airlines are screening, we're gonna see less, uh, less lines there. Also, let's do screening on ports. That should help as well. 
Uh, oh, and it mutated, but it's it's less dangerous. Okay, so now our boats are, are recovering. We're, we're starting to, we're going to see a reduction of these red lines. That's actually huge. Uh, rates of the fata fatality rates under 1.2%. I'm liking this. We didn't have to do a uh, any sort of lockdown here. We just went heavy, heavy, heavy. And if we look at compliance, uh, it looks like you see that fist. Because I didn't lock things down, there are uh, a lot of people that are actually kind of complying with things that we're asking them to, to do. Uh, although it's a little bit not, not so great down there. I'm going to send my team out here to see if they can help in uh, South Africa. Okay, so our team's locked down there. Uh, and, hold on, improve supply chains. Oh yeah, one more, one more point, we're gonna get that. Okay, I think we got it, did we just get it? Yes! So that'll reduce infection even further. Oh my god, we've, I think we've got this thing in the bag. Oh wait, hold on, my authority's dropping. Why is my authority dropping, what did I do? Uh... Okay, we're getting some resources. I think we're doing okay. 1%. It's under 1%. Uh, this is getting in much safer territory. So my team, I think, has helped out a lot down there. Let's get them up to Europe. Actually, it's hard to tell. Who needs the help the most? With all these lines. A huge earthquake. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, maybe we should send... Yeah, let's just get up in Europe. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, we almost have the, uh, the vaccine done! Now the question is, do I want to focus on manufacturing? Yes. Okay, we've upped our manufacturing. So the second that vaccine's ready, it's gonna, it's gonna crank out. We're almost at 90%. Uh, speed up time. So we have got things so controlled at this point that there's uh, a barely a rise. Uh, the re the infections are reducing. All right, so PAX 19 happened, or the Rio Olympics happened. Uh, but you know that's okay. We've got pretty good control here. All right, ahead of schedule. Uh, okay, so we've we've significantly accelerated the manufacturing. Oh, we're in production! We're about to- guys, I think we're about to win this game! Holy cow! Uh, you know, might as well, uh, jeez, uh, I- I- I don't, I don't even know what else to put points in. Let's, uh, let's get our authority up. This should probably get us up to like 100%. There we go, 76. Alright, production's almost done, we're gonna distribute that thing. And hopefully call this, uh, the end. We- we have saved the world. Officially. Alright, uh, worldwide dis distribution will begin immediately. So we're releasing it. Oh god, I gotta slow this down. It's like a casino, look at all these planes! Oh, this is it guys, this is it. So we've distributed everywhere. The infections are dropping like crazy. We're about to be done with it. The red lines have gone away. And there we go. We have saved, well, almost, okay. Another, another 600, 248. But we have saved the world, guys. Totally different experience. This was actually awesome. And uh, I really wanted to see what the other ones are like. Uh, so there we go. It's been eradicated. Completely wiped out. Uh, we lost 269,000 people, but I will tell you, this thing, this bacteria, can take over like you wouldn't believe. I may even include a video of it being much more of a challenge. And you really got to keep in mind, with this game, what's cool about it, is not only are you reliant on your resources, but your authority as well. If, if you start doing certain actions, even if you're controlling, like you've got a really good hospital set up, you can still have a lot of people that aren't complying with the things that will help a lot, and then all of a sudden, it just gets out of control. Uh, so the fact that we were able to maintain authority without uh, locking things down, that was actually incredible. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to work on the other ones. So there we go, victory!
and we can watch a playback of essentially how it spread. You saw I got my teams out right away. I'm like, hey, okay, you know what? We're gonna stay on top of this. Took us almost a year, almost a full year. The fatality rate was not bad in the end, but again, it could be way worse. It could be in the 20s, 30% higher. Um, normal difficulty. And I, I think we did pretty well. So if we speed this up, you can see kind of how it spread. Uh, we, we allowed it to actually spread a lot. But at the end of the day, uh, the number of infected did not reach all that high. We had, you know, over 30 million people recovered, 31 million at the end of it, with 269,000 that didn't make it, but a 0.84 fatality rate. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But guys, uh, so now we've got the Ethics Watchdog Advisor and the Virus Plague type. Uh, in cure mode. So, what I need you guys to do is let me know if you want to see me play this again. Uh, and if so, do you want to see me take on a virus? Oh boy. I'm doing everything I can. Everything I can. Uh, how much more can I do uh, to, to build up confidence here? We're actually completely out of options for authority. Uh, we could do government partnerships. We could also do an outbreak unit. Um, Alright, accelerated... Uh, oh wait, that's the manufacturing. We already did that, didn't we? Alright, we're gonna do accelerated research. And then we should probably do research too, but... I don't know if I'm gonna make it, guys! I think I might have dropped the ball here. Okay. Come on, come on guys, come on. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Alright, is there anything else I can do for the response? I don't have enough resources to do a lot of this stuff, okay. Uh... Oh! New infrastructure, yes! And then triage protocols. But that reduces authority, I don't want to do that. Staff expansion could help. Uh, respiratory su support could help. You just need to keep helping people. Okay, I think I can- I think I could do the... Uh... Respiratory support, there we go. Come on guys, I'm doing everything I can for you. Seventy-five million people have lost their battle, guys. Seventy-five million. We're still losing a lot. Oh, man. Oh, no. Authority's not frozen anymore. Oh, that's it. I lost. I failed, guys. I failed. Oh, dude. I tried so hard. But in the end, it didn't even matter. I would love to play this again, guys. Last year, I had so much fun playing through Plague Inc. Obviously, the rest of the year, uh, at the time of my last video, we didn't really know where things were going, but I didn't feel like it was the right thing to play anymore as 2020 went on. But this is a feel-good experience. I'm, I'm happy that I was able to find a way to take out that bacteria, and I would love to play through the rest of these, because supposedly they all play totally different. Uh, I've heard fungus can be crazy. You got parasite prions and nanovirus bioweapons. So let me know. If you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up button for me. And uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, tell you want the notifications when I upload a video so you don't miss anything on the channel going forward. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see your comments. I will see you all next time.